Funeral directors and embalmers have close contact with cadavers and bodily fluids, which leaves them at risk of Sharp's injuries and bloodborne infections. Sharp's injuries can transmit bloodborne infections such as hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. There is also the risk that a serious Sharp's cut can damage a tendon or nerve, which can be a career ending injury. It is not always known at the time of death if the deceased has a bloodborne infection or virus. This is why all cadavers should be considered as potentially infectious and standard precautions should always be adopted, regardless of the cause of death. A 2009 survey conducted in Ireland found that a number of funeral industry workers experienced a sharps or splash injury. The study also asked the participants which workplace hazard was the most important health and safety issue. The response in order of importance was 1. The risk of infectious diseases 2. Blood exposures, for example sharps and splash injuries 3. Chemical exposures 4. Manual handling and 5. Slips, trips and falls The concerns of funeral workers when handling potentially infected cadavers are warranted. In the 1990s, a pathologist who had been conducting an autopsy on an HIV-infected body accidentally cut himself with a scalpel he was using. As a result, the pathologist was confirmed HIV positive. While scalpel cuts aren't a common occurrence in funeral facilities, workers still run the risk of scalpel injuries and subsequent bloodborne infections if their facility hasn't implemented effective sharp safety practices. Mortuaries should also consider developing and implementing the hierarchy of controls. The hierarchy of controls is an effective method for managing hazards in the workplace and should be followed to prevent sharps injuries. The hierarchy establishes five levels of hazard control measures, which are prioritised according to their effectiveness. These levels are elimination, substitution, engineering controls, administrative controls, and personal protective equipment, or PPE. As elimination and substitution are not feasible in mortuary settings, both Australia's Queensland Health and the United States OSHA recommend using engineering controls. Engineering controls incorporate safety mechanisms designed to either isolate or remove the hazard from the environment. It is therefore most useful when alternative instruments or procedures are not adequate or appropriate. ClickSmart's Blade Flask Evo Multi-Use Scalpel Blade Remover is compliant with sharp safety guidelines for the mortuary industry. The Blade Flask Evo is a safety device optimised for funeral facilities because it's compatible with all BP handles including the bulbous post-mortem range PM6 and PM8. It's compatible with all BP scalpel blades including and up to PM60A, PM60B and PM70 is safe and easy to use with a single-handed operation, can be wall, bench or trolley mounted using the ClickSmart universal mounting bracket, allowing for blade removal at point of use, and is compliant with UN transport requirements of dangerous goods for Sharps waste. With little to no training required, ClickSmart's single-handed blade removers are proven to reliably reduce the risk of scalpel cuts and injuries. If you'd like to find out more, don't hesitate to contact us at hello at clicksmart.com.